welcome. Thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by. There's been some really cool stuff coming out of Games Workshop over the Christmas holiday. Yesterday, the Christmas day, uh, they released a video you can see kind of behind me. Um, the seven days of Christmas that Father Nurgle gave to me. And in this video, they release, uh, share some of the upcoming uh, models that are, that are going to be uh, coming out for purchase. And uh, some really cool gems, some really cool stuff coming out. Not my favorite chaos god, but just some really cool things. So I want to deep dive into here, uh, take a look at what they showed off in the video. And then on uh, day number two, um, what they showed on the, the Warhammer community uh, website. So from there, we're going to go ahead and take a look. Uh, on the seventh day of Christmas, Father Nerd, seven drones of bloating. Uh, and here you can see that what looks to be Blight Kings riding on top of uh, Blight Drones. Um, or whatever those things are called. Uh, so these these giant flies. Now there's already uh, plague bearers riding on uh, these these drones, but these it seems like these is a completely different kit, um, uh, that sort of thing. So it's it's quite possible, um, or it could be additional sprue. I'm not familiar enough with uh, the kit overall, um, but the models on the top are certainly not just uh, Blight King models. Um, from talking with some people, these are some brand new sculpts and, and bits, etc. Um, and if you check, the guy in the middle has, you know, this, this the dude he's holding in front of him, some, uh, you know, human free people's guy, um, and then you know that nurgling swinging from his banner is pretty rad. So in that, in in and of itself, is going to be something that uh, is a common theme in a lot of this nurgle stuff. These little nurglings, uh, just kind of stealing the show. On the sixth day, I want to, I'll say really quick, seven is the sacred number for Nurgle. So that's why we have seven days and not 12 days of, of Christmas in this case. So uh, day six, six beasts a leaping. Um, and here we've got uh, some really cool um, uh, beasts of Nurgle. Now it looks like we've got, um, uh, looks like we've got maybe two different sculpts as far as the bellies go and whatnot. Uh, there's a number of different bellies here. There's a number of different, it looks like there's two types of heads, uh, multiple faces, etc. So maybe these are coming in packs of two. I don't know. Um, but these, these really cool, just kind of funky looking, funny, goofy. You can be as goofy as you want, as freaky as you want, etc. with the tentacles and all that. So uh, six beasts leaping. These guys are going to be right in your face. Uh, fifth day, we've got five Blight Kings. These are nothing new, but always, uh, even even years after they've come out, uh, are always praised as one of uh, people's favorite kits, uh, being able to mix and match and create so many cool things from them. And then those bits being able to be used uh, for more and more uh, armies down the road, etc. After the Blight Kings came four Plague Bearers. Now, I think two of these, the guys in the back, left and right, um, are regular Plague Bearers. But the two guys in front look to be special uh, characters. So maybe a banner, maybe a musician, uh, maybe a herald, uh, something to that effect. But the guy on the left uh, holding a quill, which is from one of the, the rumors, uh, rumor mills uh, on the uh, Warhammer community page. He's got scrolls in his gut. He's got a big scroll with stuff on it that gets... Um, you know, uh, then he's writing on that and recording stuff, a ton of character in that model. Uh, and then same with the, the guy on the right, we've got uh, dudes kind of dancing a jig. Uh, he's blowing on the bagpipes. Uh, looks like it's made from somebody's gut and some, some hollowed out bones. And he's, uh, ring -ling -ling a ring-a-ling-ling, a kind of a jester toy up at the top. It looks like it's got eyes itself. Um, and then again, a little nurgling next to him singing, um, so just some really cool models. Maybe they're special characters. I guess the guy on the left also has a big slug on his shoulder. It's interesting. I think we should do a video just on uh, all the different uh, uh, kind of add-on characters, uh, add-on models that uh, kind of steal the show sometimes. Um, so after the Plague Bearers, uh, we got uh, three Glotkin. Uh, again, one of the coolest models uh, for, you know, it's a couple years old now, but uh, still uh, holds up and and just such great bits and, and cool conversions and things to do with it. Um, and then, of course, two thin coats of paint. In the video, we have uh, both uh, Duncan Rhodes and, uh, and uh, Peachy um, dancing a little bit and singing into the, the microphone. Uh, there's, there's definitely a breakout uh, star here. Uh, it has nothing to do with Nurgle. So, uh, and then uh, on the first day, 
is a Nurgling in a Blight tree. And this looks to be a, a brand new terrain kit of some sort. Uh, the tree's got a mouth, it's got tentacles up at the top, it's got bells hanging from it, uh, all of which in a, in a little Nurgle chilling out at the top, all of which is gonna be you know some really cool stuff on the table. Who knows what kind of uh, rules it might have? You know, Is it gonna be uh, something akin to um, the uh, Sylvaneth uh, Wildwoods? Is it gonna be something more like a uh, Hearthstone, uh, you know, we haven't had a ton of army specific terrain, uh, but this is a, a cool looking piece and uh, maybe it'll just have a, you know, a spot on the table, have a universal effect, uh, kind of like some of the other stuff does. Um, but, you know, it, anybody can put it on the table um, or maybe it'll be army specific. Now, uh, this was a fantastic uh, video, fantastic release. It had everybody rolling um, and it, it showed just kind of, again, how, how, Lighthearted, uh, these releases can be. Um, they had uh, the the beasts of Nurgles had been uh, shared in a in a video a few weeks ago when uh, Mini Wargaming had gone to um, Warhammer World in Nottingham, had done some of their own filming, had pretended to be painting at Duncan's table, and and the beast was just sitting there. You know, nobody pointed it out, nobody paid attention to it in the video, but uh, it was uh, definitely pointed out later as people were watching it. Here we're just getting, you know, kind of just even more playful plan, planned out and, and fun things going on. Um, yeah, and, and it seems to, you know, just continue that fun, uh, hasn't skipped a beat as they've kind of gotten more and more into it. All right, so then we had uh, day two. So on day two of the seven days release, um, oh, I, <laughs> so the video ends then with uh, a nurgling in a blight tree and we get the this uh, giant uh, Christmas ball. It looks like it's hanging in a tree and this thing must be in a tree. Uh, but that isn't quite a nurgling uh, and it's just up for a brief second. And so that's what happens on, on day two of the seven days of Christmas. We get uh, the great unclean one. Here's a wallpaper you can download from the Warhammer community uh, website. Uh, and you can just see kind of the, it gives you a sense of the size of these guys, etc. cetera. Um, the very first uh, thing I wanted to share is just kind of a walk back. Uh, so this is the uh, current available uh, great unclean one from the Games Workshop website. It's a pretty small model. It's probably a little bit bigger than an ogre. Um, you know, it's it's definitely got some sags. It's got some casts. I'm sure, I think at the moment, it's only fine cast. Um, so it, it leaves a lot to be desired. And you don't see this model very much. Uh, people don't love this model. Nobody's talking about it. Nobody's feeling it that often. Um, actually, Forge World came out with a model um, I don't know when, um, but uh, this one you definitely see more often um, and definitely has a lot more to it, but it's Forge World. It's hard to get. It's uh, resin, so there's not a lot of conversions to it. And so this exact model you see over and over and over. Um, while impressive in size, um, I think that this the new model Games Workshop is going to be kind of dwarfing it a bit. Now, the... Inspiration uh, found on the community website was about uh, was coming from uh, uh, Wayne England uh, in his artwork, and so here you can see the sword um, has you know the the three circles up at the top on the hilt. There's a lot of skulls coming down the middle of the blade. Uh, there's a, a worm coming uh, as a tongue. Uh, there's some pretty gnarly looking horns. Um, there's a chain with skulls at the end of it. Uh, in his other hand. So, you know, check out these themes as we look through the different versions of the Great and Clean one that Games Workshop is coming out with. So the very first one that uh, just kind of take a look at, you can see those chains again with the skulls at the bottom. You can uh, see the sword up at the top uh, with the skulls down the middle. And what's interesting is you can see a lot of uh, homage to the uh, Forge World model uh, with these cuts down here um, on his belly. And, and the stuff pouring out there. Uh, so just look at the folds, look at those wrinkles, look at the kind of gelatinousness, the yogurtness of the body. And again, you've got, uh, uh, um, we've got a uh, nurgling here and we've got a nurgling down here. And if you actually go to the Games Workshop website, there's a, a little package uh, that with, uh, you know, that's kind of shaped what you would suspect to be a Nurgle, and it happens to be this guy fits that silhouette it's down there in the in that lower spot. So um, again, these little Easter eggs that they've been sitting all over. 
And I'll tell you in a little bit which one is, uh, uh, as we wa- walk through these uh, great unclean great unclean ones, I'll share with you what my favorite is and, and why. Um, so um, we get another picture of this specific um, build. And here you can see how just gigantic this guy is compared to plague bears, compared to um, little nurgling sw- swarms, uh, the beasts behind him. You can get a sense of scale there in the blight drones. Uh, flying up above with the plague bears on it. So impressive scale. He's not as big as Glotkin. Um, that's very clear. Um, but this guy's going to be a cool presence on the table. And it's I'm of the opinion that you don't want everything to be the biggest it can be. You want to have things on stages. So these guys fit, I think, a size category that, that Nurgle's lacking at the moment to make for you know impressive armies. The second version of uh, the Great Unclean One is the one shown in the wallpaper. Um, you can see that he's got that same knife. He's got the big bell in his, his right hand. Uh, and then from the uh, Wayne England draw, uh, drawings uh, and paintings, they've got this worm tongue coming out. Um, and you get these, again, these ripe guts just pouring out. It looks like on his right arm there's a little nurgling trying to come out of his arm. Uh, and a nurgling sitting up at top. So just, again, some really cool, cute things going on at the same time. Uh, a lot of uh, goo. And you can see from the head on this one, tentacles coming out and a little kind of um, gill or not gill, but like a, um, a aquatic kind of fin kind of feel. So very much kind of fits alongside of uh, Gut Rot Spoom and his uh, whole uh, nautical theme, which is interesting. Um, I don't know if they're going to go further with that, but it just kind of has a nice, nice little tie-in with those. Uh, now there are some complaints that from the Slanesh uh, crew and and followers that you know tentacles are typically Slanesh, but uh, you know they're gross enough uh, that in this case we can we can let that go. And so then there's one other variation of the Great Unclean One, and this. Uh, is supposedly a named character out of the 40K universe, and uh, his name is Rodigus, uh, or Rotigus. Um, and I don't know much about him. I just know that there's kind of those tie-ins. You can see a variation down here using a mouth with teeth instead of the intestines falling out. Um, there's a uh, this growing tree in his right hand. His, his left hand's kind of come out with some tentacles. I wonder how much those tentacles are are moving towards us and then there's a face down in this arm uh in his left arm that's that's kind of pushing out um and you can see the horns are very much like the wayne england drawings etc so just a lot of cool variation here um you got another little uh nurgling down here who's a little bit of a wizard as opposed to the warrior that's in one of the other uh variations but there's so many different things to work with uh here um so many different kind of pieces and and uh, bobbles that you're getting with this uh, that's just really cool so um, my favorite one has to be um, kind of this uh, <laughs> sorry has to be kind of this this basic stock standard kind of what you would typically think of it and I don't know again I'm not a Nurgle player I don't I don't have a sense of like the variation or, or what what other themes uh, are important uh, but this guy especially in uh, looking at him here in this he just has these the horns, the iconic horns. He's got that smile that and and fangs that wrap around his own head. Like this guy is so like malleable that uh, you know the physics of of mouths and bone structure that sort of stuff just doesn't even apply. Um, and I love those big chains and that big sword. Um, and so those are the things that are really appealing to me. Um, so yeah. This these are the the releases for the first day and the second day of Christmas. Um, I hope that uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to what else they share with us. Um, there's there's obviously what five more days to go. We know that there's going to be the, the the blight kings on drones. There's going to be this uh, blight tree. There's going to be a the beasts of Nurgle. There's probably going to be the. Um, the plague bearer kind of champions or whatever those two little cool guys are. And then, um, there's going to be the, Oh, what is it called? The, the maggot kin of Nurgle battle tome that's coming out. So, uh, thanks for joining me. 
Uh, I hope that uh, we get a chance to, to share more of these. Please, again, like and subscribe. Share uh, this video with other people if you want to talk about it. What is your favorite uh, great and clean one? Uh, what was your favorite part of the, the Games Workshop video that, that got put out uh, with the 12 days of, of Christmas? Sorry, the 7 days of Christmas. And, uh, and uh, we'll see you back here as more of these things are being released. So thanks. We'll talk to you soon.